SMT Nation, we back. Nation, big news coming out of T-Mobile and the impacts Mint Mobile. Okay, so there's a planned acquisition. T-Mobile buying Mint Mobile. This was announced a couple of months ago. And now it looks like there might be a little bit of pushback. It's very possible that the DOJ reviews this and uh, T-Mobile doesn't get its desired outcome. That's very possible. All right, so we're going to talk about that in today's video. It'll be loaded with all the facts from the reporting. And of course, there's obviously different outcomes that could happen. So we'll kind of look at all those different possibilities. Link for the article will be in the description box. Also in the description is the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. And we'll be talking about Mint Mobile. That's our partner. If you're looking for a really good deal on wireless service and you're sick and tired of price increases and lack of value and maybe terrible customer care, Mint Mobile is where you should be looking. They've got all those things in spades. They just increased all the data allotments on all their plans and they didn't even touch pricing. All right, so check them out. Use our unique partner link. You'll save money and you'll be helping out the channel in the process. All right, so the DOJ, the Department of Justice, which reviews things like mergers and acquisitions, is going to be putting the microscope over the T-Mobile acquisition of Mint. All right, now Mint Mobile, our, our partner, is an MVNO that uses the T-Mobile network. So when T-Mobile, you know, do, attempting to purchase uh, Mint Mobile, does have the regulators looking at this. All right, so I'm not sure who the sources are that are reporting it, but it's from the New York Post that the DOJ Antitrust Division is going to possibly move to block the T-Mobile acquisition of Mint Mobile and fears that this is a consolidation of the prepaid market by MNOs like T-Mobile. We know that Verizon just acquired TrackPhone. We have seen you know, MNOs acquire prepaid brands before. You saw T-Mobile do it with Metro. You saw AT&T do it with Cricket and Verizon with TrackPhone. So these things have happened. Um, I, I don't know if T-Mobile has reported anything on it or responded. I don't think they have. But regulatory review is underway. And the DOJ review uh, is going to be happening in a timely fashion. I think basically what's going to be happening here is... You know, you're probably not going to hear anything from T-Mobile or Mint Mobile in regards to this development. Uh, but the acquisition itself, I think, is pegged at like $1.3 billion. And the speculation is, is that the DOJ is targeting Mint Mobile. Well, specifically, I guess, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, because he's a high-profile celebrity, they might be looking to set an example and to send a message to other companies trying to do similar moves. Again, that is totally speculation. I cannot confirm or deny those types of reports. All we know is that this $1.35 billion acquisition for Ultra Mobile, Plum, and Mint Mobile, you know, is planned to proceed and be regulated. Uh, and all of this on the heels where Mint Mobile just literally increased data allotments across all their plans, didn't change pricing. Some were speculating, myself included, that maybe they were doing this to kind of be in the good grace of regulators to show, hey, look, we're still remaining competitive even after the planned acquisition. But it, it's, it appears that uh, Mint Mobile disclosed that they were going to do this before any type of acquisition targets. Uh, and, and what's unique about Mint Mobile is they've got this, this really incredible marketing genius in which they are very fleet-footed, very quick, uh, you know, their their digital to market code is second to none. You know, they've they've got the face in Ryan Reynolds. These combinations and in, in what's known as full bars, that's the uh, Ryan Reynolds maximum effort agency is what makes them special. That might be what T-Mobile really wants here. Along with the fact that I also speculated that Verizon was looking to acquire Mint Mobile and T-Mobile swooped in and, and kind of took it, right? So... We'll see what the truth is when it's all said and done. I don't know. I can't give you guys like a percentage chance of this getting blocked or getting cleared. I don't know. I have no idea, right? This, I mean, T-Mobile just had a merger with Sprint, you know, absorbing an entire fourth national provider, you know, and, and track phone was just consumed by Verizon. I mean, how much consolidation can regulators actually watch happen, right? And to me, honestly, it doesn't change the outcome for me per se, 
but it potentially does change the outcome of customers in the marketplace and the industry that are looking for fierce competitors to compete on things like price and service and plans and value, right? So regulators are going to look at this. And as of right now, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys other than it's like a flip of a coin. It's 50, 50. We don't have any inkling on what the DOJ is thinking, what they need to learn and understand and know. I mean, we've seen mergers and acquisitions where, you know, the, the promises were made and carriers had to hold, you know, certain agreement points for three years and then they raised pricing and they raised fees, right? So literally they, they could regulate and do something like that. No price increases for X amount of time. And then the time comes up and then they raise pricing, right? So we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll let you guys know as we get more information, but, uh, you know, this is something to definitely monitor. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT nation, let your voice be heard.